The first thing I want to talk to you about is this image. This image, I took this image and you can see it in the full review that I did about the camera. But I took this image in a chart in Vicoforte Mondovi. I took these images to find the limits of the camera. Uh, the sun was directly in the window and the charts was very dark inside. So the idea was to uh, have uh, something that uh, tested the limit of the camera. And uh, as you can see, this is the JPEG file and is absolutely totally black. The contrast there, it's uh, there's some detail, but nothing much that can be done. The impressive thing, uh, I used the, the, the DNG, the raw file, and just with some uh, shadow recovering uh, and uh, a little trick with the black and you can see here how much beautiful is this image and how well the, the low lights are recovered and if you go 100% and look around also in the very dark area if I take off the exposure war warning also in the very dark areas here uh, the noise is very very minimal and we are talking about a 400 ISO shot and there's really a little green but you don't lose any detail and uh, it's very impressive so I was impressed by this image and by how well the dark area can be recovered so let's get back to the usual machine you have seen in other videos so my color checker on my library and uh, I took a picture. The reading for this picture was uh, the reading of the camera uh, with uh, a medium gray cardboard. Uh, I did uh, a reading with the Minolta flash meter 5 instant light and with the Minolta spot meter uh, reflecting always also on a medium gray card. And you can see that the camera is absolutely uh, a 200 ISO real. Here you can see the gray and it is perfectly medium gray. So I started to overexpose one stop and you can recover without problems. Uh, two stops and you can still recover pretty well and have your medium gray that gets back in the, in the position with details. Three stops, your medium gray is starting to go. So three stops is the limit for overexposure. If you want uh, uh, with the zone system, if you want uh, to have uh, an area that is white uh, uh, around uh, nine or something like that, that is it's on nine, something that is white but still with some details, you have to put it three stops over the uh, medium gray. It's not uh, you still have details here and that's okay. So uh, let's say that going up you can have a three stop, three stop is enough. Going down is the interesting part of this camera because going down here we have the normal chin again. One stop underexposed and we can still go up and it's perfect. Two stops is still go up and it's perfect. Three stops no problems at all, you can still go up and it's perfect and you can see that you keep all the details everywhere, uh, there's no grain here and most of all you keep the details in the dark area without any problems. Also here that is very dark, you don't see grain. Then we can go on, this is 4 and it starts to be at the limit but it's okay, it's very good. Uh, 5 stops no problem at all, I can do this, I can eventually just open the shadow if I want or I can go with uh, uh, is the level but I go with another level, another layer with uh, adjustment and I can push the exposure a little and we can see that the exposure is still correct. Uh, 5 is the same, sorry 6 is the same and uh, and we can still open the image and still is almost good some grain starts to appear but it's really nothing uh, seven same thing uh, we can still open the file it's totally dark but if we do the usual trick and go on, we can open up 
and is still perfect in minus seven. So this is a very good range. Yes, some noise starts to get in, but uh, that must be expected. We are talking about seven stops below the medium grade. A9, it's still, uh, it's worsening obviously every time. And here we can go to 10 stops. And here we can see actually uh, absolutely the limit of the underexposure. But uh, the interesting thing is that if we concentrate only on this area of the medium gray, yes, there's a lot of noise. There's a noise reduction set to, to zero here. So it's not uh, it's something that there are, the noise reduction is to zero. We can play with it uh, if we want. But uh, the interesting thing is there's still some uh, kind of detail. So uh, if we are in a situation where the um, there's an extreme dynamic range in the sheen. Uh, we can count on uh, uh, 10 stops on, of underexposure in some area and still have some details. So that can be, that can be pretty, pretty nice. Uh, camera is working great. Uh, uh, the dynamic range, as I say, is impressive. The other thing that we have to see is uh, how another camera is doing this a color camera because this is the curious part and we have uh, uh, here the k3 normal color version 200 iso obviously is okay overexposed a little and one stop still okay uh, we can go down two stops and absolutely still okay uh, three stops this is still okay and this was the limit uh, of the this was the limit of the monoconversion. So three stops uh, with the color version, having the other colors still is okay. Uh, four stops is kind of lost. So if we go to four stops is lost, we have lost uh, the, the details here and everything, everything become a mess. So four stop, three stops is absolutely uh, good with this camera. So it's uh, basically a little bit better than the monochrome in the highlights. Uh, in the dark area, again, we are at zero. This is uh, uh, minus one and it's easy to bring it up, uh, no problems. Uh, minus two, easy again to bring it up. Minus three, still is okay, but we start to see a little noise. This is color noise and if we go in black and white obviously it disappear a little but still we can see some noise. So we can see some noise here and this is much earlier than with the uh, monoconversion. If we go minus four uh, we can uh, uh, again go here uh, try to recover this and uh, if we start to look at here 100% the noise is still greater than on the monochrome. Minus five and I set it in black and white so there's no problem to see it. Uh, I can go on, I can start to add another correction and uh, yes we can still recover something but the noise is much much more. So Let's try with seven, skip to six, just uh, because. And here we can see that uh, uh, the noise is too much. Also, if we go in black and white and enable black and white, the noise is still again. So uh, we can see at minus seven, uh, almost what we can see at minus 10 on the, on the monochrome. So there's a huge advantage for the monochrome sensor if we go uh, down in the uh, in the underexposed areas. Uh, overexposure is basically the same. Underexposure is totally totally different, and is much 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 uh, better. So, great dynamic range, great way to recover the area. By the way, this sheen is pretty dark. Uh, these uh, shadows are very dark. And it's inside the library, no lights that arrive, and uh, if we open the open the shadows for example 
we can see all the details down here without any problem so it's absolutely impressive what can be done with this camera as dynamic range I hope you enjoyed the video uh, go on my website uh, there's an article uh, where I did uh, the full review uh, of the camera and you can find these files in the article if you want to download the, the DNG file both for the color version and for the monochrome version and you can compare the file by yourself with your own software so thank you for watching by the way if you download the files remember that if you use them around in articles or things like that it's okay but uh, you must put a link back to me and if you can uh, push the donate button that would be i would be glad because it's a cost of uh, server space uh, and bandwidth so thank you very much for watching and see you next time